Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Savanta Scent Remix. Um, this is just an ex you can consider this a spotlight. I know uh, I don't know I, I don't seem to do those anymore, but uh, you know never you mind. Um, but this is this is one of my favorite games. I I've I love Savanta Scent. It's just such a well executed game. I think it's by some of the shared devs of Owl Boy, which I know is uh, is beloved. Um, but the, just the polish and execution on this game has always kind of staggered me. It's uh, you can get the original Savanta Scent for like three dollars. This is the demo for the remix. I really don't know what's all that different uh, as far as i can tell the only thing that's really that different right now is a double or triple jump um but we'll get into that a little bit i'm gonna actually skip the story because it's it, not really the showcase of this game um this is uh i don't know how to put it an arcade game it, like uh, akin to kind of like a space invaders brought to the the new era um, it's got some of the most freaking banging tunes I've ever heard in the game and it's got some of the coolest uh, Art style graphics, whatever you want to call it. It's just got style and flair oozing out of like every orifice and I, I've loved this game forever. I love it so much um, I'm looking forward to seeing maybe what is different in this remix, but th here's what I can tell you so far uh, not much. That being said, uh, they'll, they'll, you know, I'll, I'll buy this game a hundred times because, I mean, the original is like three bucks um, or something like that. But uh, what are we doing in this? So, I mean, we're basically just shooting bad guys. Uh, there's a little bit of nuance. Uh, you can see we're collecting parts of a disc. I don't believe this is uh, something that is accessible in this, like, demo. Um, but the discs, generally speaking, uh, activate or like unlock new abilities for you um which actually add quite a bit of depth to the game but right now we're just playing very a very base version which is we point we shoot and we can jump we can move left and right there's only two places we can be um whoop. and uh you know we're trying to build up as much of a score as you can trying not to take too much damage We beat the first stage. It kind of, honestly, you know what it really reminds me of? It really reminds me of, this is this is a reference I would never think to apply to this game, but it's actually perfect. Game & Watch. If you've ever played any of those old uh, Game & Watch Game Boy games, where uh, instead of just like, you know, the guy, the Game & Watch guy, um, it was like Mario and Luigi, and you know, it was, it had like quite nice graphics, for the time. Um, I actually played quite a lot of those games and they were really addictive. And this game actually does really remind me of that same kind of style of like very addictive, uh, not, you know, not very complex gameplay, but like it has exactly enough depth in it. Oh, I'm playing abysmally right now. Just enough depth to uh, get you kind of immersed into it and see if you can get, you know, as far as you can. Um, but yeah, we're firing, we have a, a meter. Uh, the meter, when the, when it gets to the, you know, grows enough, we can do a, like a little burst attack there. Um, that generally speaking, kills everything. We'll need that for uh, things in the future, for sure. Ooh. And there's some down there. These, some enemies uh, take a few more hits to uh, kill. These guys will actually shoot projectiles if you leave them long enough. And you get to really know, um, the attitude, the kind of flavor of each enemy. And they do actually have quite a distinct flavor. These guys, of course, they just kind of like, you know, roll towards you at a very steady pace. These guys will shoot fireballs at you, um, given enough time. And the little star ones are a major pain because they are pretty tanky, and, but they will actually like zoop right towards you. And I generally always take some damage from them because I'm, I'm really bad at that. So I try to give a dedicate a burst fire to them. We also have a little bit of uh, interesting nuance when it comes to how we fire. So um, you might notice you do like a kind of a little burst attack when you start firing. 
Uh, I'm going to need to concentrate for a moment here. Yeah, so you have like a little burst attack. You can actually abuse that quite heavily. In fact, that's kind of uh, how you start to get into the flow of things is like dodge, burst, dodge, burst, dodge, burst. And that's, you know, and then uh, you can use your burst attack once you've gained a little bit of your bar. Then these guys start showing up. I mean, they are um, very tanky and they'll move towards you pretty slowly, um, but not slowly enough. They'll usually get to you, but you can, uh, you can actually knock them away. You can divert their path with a little burst attack. Those guys are great at giving us some more energy. And it says song, song unlocked, but for the life of me, I can't figure out how to actually like look at those songs. Oh, okay. We almost took some damage there. Okay, this could, this could get ugly. Uh, you might notice our burst attack does like less. It has less burst power if we don't have a full bar. So, ooh, that was nice. That was fantastic. All right, we cleared the third floor. Now, I mean, you might uh, wonder how, how long is this game? How, how much game is there here? Well, um, it's kind of hard to explain and actually, you know, much more difficult made by the fact that I don't know what this game has that differs from the original. But uh, I'll tell you what is, this is kind of the end of you know the initial game but it does not really end here there's a lot of game here um there's enough game here that you will find yourself playing a lot of it playing it over and over and over again um maybe unlocking new things but honestly i think what uh makes savant ascent a uh, standout ooh, it's a little bit spicy isn't um isn't it like replayability because it like you get new abilities it's not that you unlock new things it's replayable because it's just a really good game and really addictive and once you've unlocked every ability which doesn't take long at least not in the original version um then you'll you'll find yourself playing it anyway just just so you can try and uh, you know get a bit better of a score uh there's different game modes which are basically the same game again uh but you know for the sake of gaining score or maybe you don't get any lives maybe it's less forgiving and you just like i don't know it's got that kind of ikaraga uh flavor of like yeah this you know it's it's kind of brutal but it's it's really addictive i know that i'm making this look easy um i actually i already i played this demo on my off time just like to remind myself yeah like this game is fantastic um and i died here this guy is really tough Let's see how far I get. Yep. Double jump certainly helps a lot. I, I don't know if that's new. I'm pretty sure that is new. But so far, this is going out, going well. I, I do. All I recall is that the, the actual last boss of Savant is absurdly difficult. You want to get rid of those blocks? I can't remember what um, blowing up this orb does. I'm pretty sure it's something good. We could actually just like hit the boss. I don't think I... Can I actually hit the boss? I don't know. I don't think I can. We're getting pretty close though. There we go. So let's let's see how things uh, maybe evolve here. <laughs> Actually, I, I do remember that. That's <clears throat> that's really good. I love that the the shadow just kind of filling the mask. Okay, this is different. <laughs> okay. All right, bud. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll do a bit of explaining 
now just to i guess i i'm i'm excited for this um originally you would get the mask and then you would get uh some new interesting abilities uh and then when you got to the very top there would be a new boss and the new boss was uh I, as i was saying pretty pretty difficult i took me a while before i actually defeated them so it looks like what we're doing here is um we're we're going to lengthen the, the time between this uh i, I don't know I, it kind of looks like a luigi mask character to me and the the last boss which i i guess I, i'm not going to spoil what that is because i definitely encourage you to play this game yourself i definitely encourage you to pick up the original it, like for real th the fact that these games are so cheap um i i honestly think it, it warrants getting the original and then probably picking this up i don't know how much this will be but i i assume it won't be that much more i just i i'd honestly ballpark like five or ten bucks but i could be wrong and i don't want to presume that and then it comes out and it's like 20 or 30 or something like that um well let's have a look at the other game mode what was the other game mode that we have available it's just like hardcore mode let's see if maybe anything is different Hardcore, no checkpoints, no extra lives, power meter starts empty. I mean, that's really the same thing again. Um, I'll play a little bit of this before I round out the episode, the episode, the video. Yes, yes, we know. He wants the orb. He wants to ponder his orb with some jamming tunes in the background. But yeah, I just, I love the the environmental design. There's like the, the, the whole look, like it, it's... There's an interesting background, but my, my theory is that basically this game is um, an album. Like, you can check out Savant is a pretty prolific artist. I don't know if it's a collection of different artists, but um, you can find them on Bandcamp and you'll find this music and a bunch of others. Uh, and they're all really excellently produced. Uh, I, I actually really enjoy them. So I, I feel like this game was in a way um, an opportunity or an excuse to showcase that music. It's, it's almost like a video game uh, version of like a album drop. And it having the same name, you know, definitely lends to that theory. Um, but the fact that it's just a really excellent game, you know, it's, it helps a lot. So we have, we've got, we are unlocking songs. You would be able to switch the music out uh, in the original game, but I don't think that that is available here in the demo. So I definitely like if you like this and you want to check this game out, I honestly just like really encourage you, you know, just grab the original game. It's it's really cheap and it's good and you will definitely get your money's worth. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and run through this game again in hardcore mode. I don't think that there will be much of any difference. Um, but I am going to end the episode or the video here because it's, you know, it's, you know, you've seen it. You've seen the demo and all I really want this, uh, you know, I, I, want, I want the takeaway to be is try Savant Ascent and uh, maybe when the uh, when Savant Ascent remix comes out, have a look at that. I'll definitely be picking it up probably regardless. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. And uh, if you've played Savant Descent, please let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.